Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be doing another review and this time it's a Lamborghini model, a classic Lamborghini model, Lamborghini Miura, Jora. And this is from Kyosho. Really love this model, the wheels and everything. That's the reason I bought it, though I'm not a big fan of Miura. So this is the only reason. I mean, this is in my collection because of its shape and the wheels in Yora, they put really a uh, different angle of car this is as compared with the look uh, regular mirror so yeah this is the reason i bought this and i wanted to do a review and this model is from kyosho as said before a very good model a very well detailed model this is and a really a classic car to have in the collection if you're a classic car lover so yeah so let me take you to the camera to the uh, model and discuss the features and the quality and the details and everything about this model and what it represents. All right. Here we are, Lamborghini Miura Yoda. Uh, I hope I'm spelling it right, but uh, Yoda, yeah. So pronouncing, sorry, pronouncing it right. But as you can see, it's a very beautiful model. The wheels and everything is so perfect on it. As Kyosho, they used to do a very good job making the models and they come out with really good models. There are some very iconic models which they have made and are still very rare and very classy and the details are amazing on these models from Kyosho like this model over here in front of us it's an amazing model and the details you can see by your own self are amazing I mean they are out of the world I mean it's amazing looking at the lights perfect lights they have made with the combination of silver in it and the glass used on the top is quite well merged with the body panel of the car and very well made everything even the front logo over here as well uh, lamborghini logo amazing and even the small small details over here in this scoops over here are amazing amazingly done even the front lights you can side indicators and the hazard lights as well they are very best in the quality you can get today and the splitter as well the front splitter is amazingly made it's a very old model and i have it in my collection for a long time and till today i mean you can see it's in amazing condition and really love it and small small details like this small light indicator over here and the some liquid or fuel cap over here you can see it do opens but uh, i'll show you in a while when we'll open the bonnet and talking about the wheels the center lock wheels with spokes amazing the difference i mean i really love these wheels and look at the difference between the first uh, the front one and the back one i mean how deep the back one is and how wide it is and you can see they are amazing and then small small details like the screws i mean they have miniature them very well over here as you can see and the scoop as well itself is quite amazing the quality of wiper is quite good double wipers in one stand and the glass used for the front screen and the side door glass is quite solid and quite intact till now covered with the silver stripe running around over here and we have a small antenna as well over here which is quite good and really like it i don't want to push it it do come up yeah it does it does move oh, so it's there so it's a really amazing model and then you can see on the side it's uh, on the side scales it's all black with a small air intake over here for the engine bay 
supposedly because the engine is a, it's a mid engine car so it's it's in the back and the quality of door locks handles is quite amazing it's more like not plastic or steel kind of a thing or aluminium i don't know but they are not plastic or they are i don't know but they are in very perfect condition so you cannot judge it that it's a plastic or not so yeah talking about the back with the top spoiler and then we have the shield at the back of the top of the engine which has openings for the air to flow out to keep the engine cool and that is quite amazing the texture the way it is made is quite amazing and even the spoiler as well at the top with the Jorda monogram on the sides both sides and as you can see the body is quite wide from the back because you can see from the front I mean you can it's really quite coming out from both sides and that's the reason the tires are so wide at the back to give it more f attraction or something like that really amazing and the curves are amazing as well so moving further i mean at the back you can see tail lights three in it indicator brake and reverse then the plate and the plate lights as well on the top chrome is really amazing and four exhaust tips and it's a very attractive i mean aggressive back as well just like the front the aggressive is same as back aggra uh, same uh, it's uh, aggressive as the front so it's quite amazing that's the reason i mean i i was so attractive to it that it's so aggressive model i mean it comes out really sporty and aggressive small small details over here like they have done a very good job i mean even over here they have replicated the screws or the joints with the the panel with the body is quite amazing and the light chrome which is running at the back and in the centers of dividing the lights it's still intact and quite perfect amazing model let me show you from underneath it's the same thing goes underneath same amazing things as you can see at the back you can see it's really well detailed engine and exhaust and suspension is quite well replicated and at the front as well you can see the suspension and all the small features are really well replicated in this model really a uh, excellent job done by Kyosho in making this model and then we have the branding over here like Kyosho made in China and then the Lamborghini uh, Jorda SVR yeah it says SVR 118 scale so yeah this is a very amazing model and as you can see it's perfect for the collectors to have in the collection so moving further let me show you the let me pull up the bonnet and it goes opposite direction so there you are we have the horns and the fuel tank and these are the horns over here big horns and the suspension shocks everything is quite visible in it and small details very well presented uh, uh, it is and it is quite heavy so it's not sticking around and we have a radiator in the front as well so we have a shock over here as well but it the uh, bonnet it's a die cast and it's very heavy so it's not sticking around up still. so the finishing i mean talking about the finishing it's really amazing the finishing the plastic used and the quality is quite amazing you don't get these kind of things in this i mean today's model they really make some good details and you can see in the interior as well the side door panel as you can see in black and silver 
And then, then we have the steering and the seats with the sports seat belts placed in their bucket seats. And then the center console is very well made, the gear lever, handbrake and dashboard as well. I mean, let me show you from the other side. The dashboard is quite amazing with the, all the gadgets over there and the footrest area is all carpeted and really amazing job uh, <clears throat> really amazing and we have a passenger side we have a on the center console we have a lever as well over here you can see over here to grip the hands over there if you are going fast or something like that just for the extra protection probably so yeah and the quality of grass is quite good as well and plus plastic but it's really amazing and the door closed very well all aligned well as this one has a little play as you can see but it's okay I mean the car is perfectly fine and now come the real thing the engine bay which is amazing it's a 4 liter v12 engine as you can see and the detail of the engine is really amazing the wiring and everything small small features the silver chrome running around even at the the plastic used over here is really amazing really a good thing I mean when it's open, I mean, it looks really attractive, though. And there is a grill, I mean, which I was mentioning before. It's a see-through grill for the air to flow out, in and out to keep the engine cool and the brake pedals as well, brake pads as well. And then we have a small Lamborghini monogram on the main block of the engine. So, yeah, it's really amazing to ha see such kind of details in the models. I really enjoyed these kind of details with the model and Kyosho was one of it uh, which used to produce very well detailed models and really classic models mostly like the Lamborghini, Ferrari. They, use, they do make new versions as well, latest models as well but these are really amazing with the quality and the Thing they produce is really amazing and look at the width of the tire it's so big I mean the back tire is way bigger than the front tire half the way probably so yeah this is something really you don't see every day the this is small small details are really amazing you can see the structure they made to replicate the original car is quite well the structure over here for the main uh, grill I'll say facing outside it's really amazing and the tire covers are really amazing as well very well made <clears throat> and well joined I mean till today it's perfect in its condition <clears throat> So, yeah guys, this is Lamborghini Mira Jora. <laughs> Funny, yeah. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you liked the model. It's a really amazing model to have in the collection. It's rare though, but if you are lucky enough, you can find one. I mean, there's no big deal in it. I'm finding these kind of models. I mean someone somewhere would be selling it so it's a very good model to have in the collection so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video and till the next video do take care and goodbye